I watched all the seasons of So You Think You Can Dance. I haven't seen anyone like me, like like Korean Korean. But then when I was joining, I wasn't really thinking about that. I just wanted to show myself. In Korea for 21 years. Uh, when I was around like nine years old, I was just watching TV singer just singing and dancing, and I was just so fascinated by that. And then I was just uh, automatically just starting collecting my friends to teach them. A few years later, I joined to the um, dance group inside of the school, and then since then, my dance uh, life has been going like big <laughs> like naturally i loved it so much that i was like spending so much time on dancing 15 16 years old i just like naturally going to uh, towards that dream like okay i'm gonna be a professional dancer i can do this i started taking classes from uh, one of my idol her name is lia kim she's really popular in choreography scene but at the time she was really hardcore battler and because of her, I was I was looking up to her a lot. So I was just literally doing everything what she was doing, which was battling and just like street dance, like freestyle dance. And then I started learning a style of popping, locking and hip hop house, whacking and everything from her. And that just became my own style. The reason why I chose to do popping is because it was the hardest style that I ever tried it. To be able to do the pop technique, it took two years for me to just practice just that and I because I am so harsh on myself I just felt really really happy when I finally got the technique inside of my body I was just feeling so like alive from the freestyle dance world there's no rules like it you just literally dance whatever you feel like doing in that moment with the music I was able to really like express myself when I was around 12 years old I was watching a lot of American TV show program when I was in Korea and I saw so you think you can dance TV TV program was airing and at the time I didn't know any English I was just like oh my god that looks so crazy I need to go there I need to be on that show I, I'm gonna do it and so I was like dreaming about moving to America but um, as my uh, family is wasn't like supporting financially much so I had to build everything by my own when I graduate uh, my high school I just decided not to go to university and then I moved to America by my own I saved up some little bit of money and I realized that I wasn't able to enter student so can dance as a foreigner with uh, with student visa so I looked up oh my god I need to do that so how can I enter so uh, I found out that I need to get a work visa which can be artist visa so four years later I saved more money for a lawyer and all that and I saved all the price prizes that I won battle and all the stuff so I was able to get an artist visa later and then I just auditioned right away so I moved to LA and then I joined the Sweet Thing Can Dance finally how many years later was that like like many years later like probably 13 years later i made that happen i watched all the seasons of so you think you can dance i haven't seen anyone like me like like korean korean but then when i was joining i wasn't really thinking about that i just wanted to show myself since so you think you can dance i got exposed to the world people got to notice me more i'm getting more like a like a call oh, hey desi can you be on my music video blah, blah 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 so i was doing a lot of jobs marie poppins she hit me up to like uh, perform together with her piece in sweden but at the same time they were doing another dance event sweden dance delight and marie was suggesting that hey desi do you want to make a new piece together so i said yes let's do that and then we entered that competition and then we won the video of that performance went really really viral on facebook it got like 40 million views everything was going so well with my crew from the Tao, we've, we've done so many things so we're gonna just keep going since covid we got we had a lot of like cancellation of the event obviously a lot of dancers we were all depressed 
for some moment. We just realized that we can't really be like this. We need to keep active. We were starting a lot of projects our own. We made a really great uh, short film. And also we started doing this uh, training group of ladies. We collected a lot of uh, female dancers who are really not able to afford the classes and also we wanted to make a really safe uh, space for female dancers. After COVID, I don't know how it's gonna be because it's really hard. I feel like dance is always this. Dance is more like being together. Dance is not through the camera. I mean, now nowadays, yes, but I really miss being together and dancing together. So I really wish that we could go back to the normal than how it was before, but stronger that if anything happened like this again, we are ready to uh, still work. This time, uh, Red Bull is doing Dance Your Style TikTok challenge because we cannot really be in the same room. Uh, Red Bull Dance Your Style plays uh, really like mainstream music, really popular songs, not for street dancer, but it's actually really fun. And also the audience get to vote. I am very new to TikTok. <laughs> All I want to do is bring really good energy and inspire a lot of people with what I've been studying, what I've been enjoying. I don't know. I need to know about TikTok more <laughs> because, because it's so different, like going to dance event in person and versus little like cell phone. How the dance get to present is also different as well. So me, I need to really train how to feature myself better through the camera.